Hi everyone and welcome to Minecraft Mum Survival Skills. This is episode 5 and today what we're going to do is head back down towards the mine shaft that we we're building down to level 11 and going to finish that off. So if you'd like to follow me we're going to head down. I've um, between the two episodes made some more ladders to make things easier and so we're going to drop down and keep digging. So um, here we are. Ooh, sounds like there's uh, might be a cave nearby, which is something we need to be careful about. Uh, I'm just going to check to make sure we've got things ready. We've got a sword and we've got various things ready. Uh, so let's keep going. Let's see how far we've got to get down there. We're at level 36 and we've got to get down to level uh, 11. So about 20 more to go. So here we go. Uh, whoa, that's where the noises were coming from. Uh, so there are a lot of zombies and nasty things over here. I think what we're going to do is just try and give ourselves a bit of shelter. Um, and what we might also do is get ourselves back up a little bit and what we may want to do is find another way to dig. We might just avoid this whole area and dig into the wall. So you remember how I said you have different options in terms of building a mine. One is to uh, we don't want to drop that far. One is to go straight down and one is to do a staircase. What I'm going to demonstrate now is more of a staircase method. And what you do is you just chop out blocks going all the way down. So I think that sounded like a very tricky area. And so until we've got armor, I think it's best avoided. So in this video, you're now going to see a second way of building down. And as we get further away from those bodies, uh, the sound will start to disappear. Uh, but that's always a good thing to do, is keep your sound quite high when you are mining, because you can hear usually when you're about to encounter something quite nasty, and then you can just avoid it. So I'm just keep digging along. I tend to just keep going in the same direction, just going straight. And again, you need to keep putting the torches up as you go, because if it gets too dark, then baddies can spawn. So you need to keep this area uh, protected. Now, this is great because we've got some coal. We were a little bit short of coal before, so we'll pick that up as we go. I think I've said in previous episodes, those little green dots coming towards you are experience points. Those are quite handy to collect as you go, uh, because those will be useful when we get to enchanting. That's still a few episodes away, but... Um, in the meantime, coal is useful to have for torches, for cooking things, and hopefully we're going to get some really good things like iron ore when we get a bit deeper. And that is, um, we'll need the coal to melt that down. You don't always need coal. You can also um, use wood, burn wood to create charcoal. So if you're in a, if you're struggling to find coal, that's another alternative. So, we need to change over to a fresh pickaxe, which we'll do. And we're getting to a stage I probably need to check again on how we're doing in terms of depth. F3, we're at 16, so we're getting close. Very close. And it still sounds like there's a lot of scary people nearby, so we just need to be careful. In fact, I've never heard that noise before. I don't know what type of monster it is. It sounds almost like a lion. Um, so yeah, we're down. That next level down will be 11. So we've made it. So at this point, what we can do is clear a bit of a flat area. And this is going to be where we're going to start the mine. And what I tend to do is, we'll just make sure, we'll just check F3. We're still, oh, we've gone into the river biome. Um, so what we need to do is head in a direction that takes us, oh, plains. We don't want plains, so I think what we're going to want to do is head back. Um, 
potentially back on ourselves to get back into the extreme hills biome. So we'll just keep um, oh, that's plains, plains, there we go, river. I think if we head back under the river, that's going to take us back towards, ah, oh, and that, I'll just put some torch on so you can see, is a bit of iron ore. So that's definitely one of the things we want to get because that will enable us to build some armor, which is something we desperately need at this stage of the game. I'm just going to take that off again. There's no need for that. It was. What I tend to do is make my tunnels in mines, um, usually I make them three levels high, so we'll take this up a bit higher, and two wide. And so I'm just going to widen this out a little bit. Again, keep the torches going because we'll need to keep things nice and light and bright to keep things safe. And just keep heading down. And it's gotten a lot quieter, so that means whoever those scary people are, we've left them behind. Uh, oh, I spoke too soon. We've come across a cave quite early into our adventure. So I think we might just leave things here for the minute and head back upstairs and we'll make some armor before we continue on. Um, we'll just fill this area up because we don't need those spaces. So let's head back up. Um, again we'll start creating some pieces of armor and then we will explore some of these caves with these scary people once we've got the armor to keep us safe. So again, climbing up, you just press W and that moves you up the ladder. And so we're moving swiftly up to the top of the ladder. And it sounds like rain actually. It sounds like as we're getting up to the top of the ladder that we've got ourselves a very rainy dark night. Uh, yeah, it's a miserable night out there. So, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed learning how to make a mine. We've now got a mine on level 11. We've avoided some scary people and next episode I will be making some armor with some of the iron we've collected. Thanks for watching.